Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to discuss a portage configuration file that you can find in Etsy portage called package.accept keywords. And I'm going to go over what exactly this configuration file does and what keywords are and how they might be useful to you. Now in Gentoo parlance, keyword refers to a word that determines what CPU architectures a given package is considered to be stable for. Gentoo, the operating system, works just fine on a wide variety of CPU architectures, and as such, Gentoo supplies packages for various CPU architectures. But since the Gentoo way is to download source code and compile with Portage rather than get binary packages like most other distributions, the CPU architecture that you're using Gentoo on matters quite a lot when it comes to determining whether or not you're going to be able to get a given package to compile and run on your system. And that's where keywords come in. Every package eBuild will usually have a list of keywords enabled in it that determine what architectures that particular package is considered to be stable for. Keywords are also used to mark when packages are considered testing or unstable. If a package is considered testing or unstable, then generally speaking, Portage will not simply let you install that package right away. You'll have to make changes in order to enable Portage to install that package that's considered testing or unstable on your system. And you do that in the package.accept keywords file. Now before I go in and show you the contents of the package.accept keywords file, I'm going to go over a couple of portage environment variables that matter when it comes to talking about keywords in the package.accept keywords file. Namely, the arch variable and the accept keywords variable. Now if we go here to the man page of make.conf Right here near the top, we can see under the accept keywords variable description here, a good bit of information about the whole concept of accept keywords in the first place. It says here, accept keywords is a space delimited list of keywords, and the description reads that it enables testing of ebuilds that have not yet been deemed stable, meaning they are not guaranteed by Gentoo to work on your given CPU architecture. By default, this variable, as you can see here at the end, will be equal to the value of arch, which is another portage environment variable. Let me get out of here. We can check what the value of these environment variables are by running portage q e n v v a r for environment variable, and then in all caps, accept keywords. And we can see that the accept keywords variable on my machine is equal to AMD64. That makes sense. I'm using a 64-bit processor. Now we can also compare that to the value of the other environment variable mentioned in that man page, arch. And we can see that they're exactly the same. Now, accept keywords is a variable that you can set in the make.conf file, which is where you configure many things, among which is the customizations you want to make to your portage environment. And accept keywords can actually be a space delimited list of keywords, which means that you could put others in here. You could make accept keywords be equal to AMD64 and then also x86 to compile for 32 bit architectures and PPC to compile for PowerPC architectures or, or what have you, uh, ARM perhaps. But the important thing to keep in mind is that it's not that by enabling these things and accept keywords, you will suddenly make your system be able to compile packages targeted at these architectures. Rather, all you will do is you will tell Portage that it's safe to try to do that on this computer. And now obviously if you try to do that, if you try to compile a package that is not targeted at your architecture on your architecture, it's most likely going to fail. The more common thing to do with accept keywords rather than targeting separate architectures is actually to target stable and unstable on your own architecture. Because what this is communicating here in accept keywords is not actually the exact same information that's being communicated here in Arch. Here in Arch, we're just getting information about what specific CPU architecture we have on this machine. But in accept keywords, this AMD64 is saying that we want to accept packages that are considered stable for AMD64. Let me go ahead and before I ramble on too much, let's go ahead and open up package.accept keywords. And as you can see here, the syntax for this file is very similar to the other portage configuration files that are in the Etsy portage directory. Lines that begin with a number sign are comments and then the lines that are actually meaningful are going to consist of an atom followed by a space followed by whatever information you need to put in this configuration file. In this case, just to look at this example here on the very second line, the critical information for the package.accept keywords is going to be the same as the architecture on your system, but it's going to be preceded by a tilde or, or tilde, however you pronounce that. I usually say tilde. 
It's going to be preceded by a tilde here, which Portage understands to mean unstable packages on this architecture, in this case AMD64. Now, like other package.so-and-so files in the Etsy Portage directory, package.accept keywords is actually a masking file that is specifically used to mask out packages in the package.accept keywords case that is on the basis of keywords. What that means is if a package is floating around on Gentoo's repositories that is considered to be unstable on your system and is marked as such in the eBuild for that package, then Portage will normally not allow you to simply download, compile, and install that package because it's masked by default, because unstable packages do not install on a stable system, which is what most Gentoo users are using. Now let me direct your attention here to this line at the very bottom, this games board ace which is unmasked here for unstable on AMD64. Now, if I were to open another terminal window here, right, quick, and I were to try to emerge games board ace, you will see that emerge goes through the process and it says, would you like to merge these packages? But if you'll notice in the output here, there's this little yellow utility mark. And that indicates that the package is considered unstable on my architecture, even though Portage is willing to let me install it specifically because I told it to let me install it here in package.accept keywords. If I were to say no here, and then go back over here to my package.accept keywords file, and oh, it looks like we're read-only file. Let's actually get out of here and do vim with sudo permissions. Sorry about that. But if I were to go here to my package.accept keywords file, and put in a number sign here at the start of this line to comment it out and go back over here and once again try to emerge games board ace you will see that portage will warn me all ebuilds that could satisfy games board ace have been masked that's because by default this package is considered unstable for my architecture and without me going in manually into the package.accept keywords file to allow this package to be installed Portage doesn't want to install it. So as long as I don't have this line here in package.accept keywords that says it's okay to install this particular unstable package, I won't be able to install it. Portage will not let me. And this goes for all packages that are considered unstable by default on Gentoo. Now I should note there's a little more syntax to this particular file here. We can actually here by AMD64 put a minus sign to specifically say do not install packages with this particular keyword. So if we say games board ace minus sign unstable AMD64, then we are specifically disallowing Portage to install the unstable version of this. And in fact, if we go over here and we do this, we will see that we get the exact same error as if we had commented out that line. Now this is mostly useful if Portage has multiple versions of a package some stable and some unstable on your architecture, and you are already running an unstable system. Maybe you have an AMD64 system and you've added unstable AMD64 to your accept keywords variable in make.conf. If that's the case, then disallowing packages on a package by package basis will be more useful to you. If you're running a stable Gentoo system, using this particular syntax probably is not going to have any effect on things that you do. It really only matters if you're already running an unstable system, by which I mean you've put unstable versions of your architecture and your accept keywords variable in make.com. Now before I go, there's one more thing I want to talk about in this video, and that is a file that is similar to package.accept keywords called package.keywords. Now, based on my understanding of it, package.keywords is an older configuration file that still can exist in Portage, but doesn't necessarily exist by default. If we go in here into it, into package.keywords, we can see that it looks very, very similar to package.accept keywords in syntax. In fact, it actually uses some syntax we didn't cover before. These lines here that have no architecture information along with them, that's a special syntax in package.accept keywords that defaults to meaning unstable. So the, these also are saying to do the unstable version of the architecture in our system. So it's the same as if we put tilde AMD64 right beside them. But anyway, as you can see, this file looks very similar to package.accept keywords. And it does essentially the same thing. It masks and unmasks packages based on their architecture keywords. Package.accept keywords will override package.keywords in all cases. So if they conflict for some reason, package.accept keywords is the one that wins out. And like I said, I think package.keywords is an older configuration file that is being phased out. The idea is that package.accept keywords is basically preferable in all cases. I'm pretty sure that for me personally, this file was created automatically as part of me installing um, 
LMS, which is a package that's in there. I believe it was created and then I ran dispatch conf to add it here. But either way, package.accept keywords and package.keywords will do the same thing. Package.accept keywords is probably the only one that you will ever need and it overwrites the any conflicts that it has with package.keywords. The package.keywords file is not something that you should need to create and you probably won't need it. Won't need it. Uh, you will only need to mask packages individually in package.accept keywords and mask by architecture globally in your accept keywords variable in your make.com file. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. That concludes this video. Uh, I want to thank O'Neill Jr. who suggested I make this video in the comments of one of my previous videos on YouTube, so thank you very much for that. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you all so much for watching. We will see you next time.